Hello everyone, welcome to solve this uh, math Olympiad exponential equation problem and we have 5 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x equals to 544 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So in this question, uh, we introduced an interesting method which is known as the reverse engineering method. So we solve this problem by using the reverse engineering method. Uh, so I hope so you like this method and uh, the very first step we are going to do is here uh, first step in reverse engineering method is we take the base of this term equals to a and we take the base of this term equals to b so here we take a equals to 5 and b equals to 3 and now in the next step uh, we just taking the square on both of the sides of this term and we obtain a square equals to 5 square and we know that 5 square equals to 25 and similarly we take the square on this term and uh, uh, we get b square equals to 3 square and we have 3 square equals to 9 and after that uh, we uh, just uh, add uh, equation number these two values of a square and b square so now in the next step we add these two values and we obtain a square plus b square equals to 25 plus 9 and we know that 25 plus 9 equals to 34. So here we call this uh, given question as equation number 1 and we call this is equation number 2. And in the next step here first we add these two values and now we subtract these two values so when we subtract a square minus b square it will become 25 minus 9 and we know that 25 minus 9 equals to 16 and we call this as value number 3 and now in the next step we focus on the right hand side of the given question statement so here we have 544 uh, so now first we find the prime factors of 544 by using the Deviant method. So we know this method we have 544 and we first divide this by 2 and we have 2 2 is a 4 and we carry 1 and 2 7 is a 14 and 2 2 is a 4. So we again divide it by 2 and we have 2 1 is a 2, 2 3 is a 6 and we carry 1 and 2 6 is a 12. We again divide it by 2 and we get 2, 6, 12. We carry 1, 2, 8 is a 16. We again divide it by 2 and we get 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 4 is a 8. So we have 2, 1 is a 2. We carry 1 and 2, 7 is a 14. And we divide it by 17 and 17, 1 is a 17. So we have the prime factors of 544 are. So we will write it here 544 equals to 2 times of 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 17. So we have these 2 times of 4, we write it as 2 to the power of 4 and 2 17 is 34. And we know that 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 and we have 16 times of 34. So we get the value of 544 equals to 16 times of 34 and now uh, we replace uh, the value of 544 uh, in the left hand side of the given equation so now first we copy down equation number one so we have from equation number one we copy down here 5 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x equals to 544 and we replace 544 by 16 times of 34. So we write it as 16 times of 34. So here uh, we use equation number 2 and equation number 3. So in equation number 2 we have a square plus b square equal to 34. And in equation number 3 we have a square minus b square equals to 16. So we put 16 equals to this value and 34 equals to this value. So that uh, we write it here uh, using uh, equation number uh, 2 and equation number 3. 
So from equation number two, we have five to the power of x minus three to the power of x equals to 16 and over 16 equals to a square minus b square and multiplied by 34 and 34 equals to a square plus b square. And now you focus on the right hand side and uh, you clearly see that uh, we have a square minus b square times of a square plus b square it, it is equals to a square and its whole square and minus b square and its whole square so here we use the nice uh, square identity and you know that a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so we just use this identity here and we get a square and its whole square equals to a to the power of 4 minus it will becomes b to the power of 4 and in the left hand side we have 5 to the power of uh, x minus 3 to the power of x and now in the start of the problem uh, we take 5 equals to a and 3 equals to b so we back substitute these two values here so this equation implies that we know that 5 equals to a and it will becomes a to the power of x and 3 equals to b so it will becomes b to the power of x equals to a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4 so now by comparing on both of the sides we get a to the power of x equals to a to the power of 4 and we get b to the power of x equals to b to the power of 4 so now you focus on uh, both of the sides and you see here we have bases on both of the sides are same so that we equate its exponents so in this case after equating the exponent you get the value of x equals to 4 and similarly if you focus on this one and you see here again we have bases are same so that we equate its exponents and we get the value of x equals to 4 so in both of the cases you get the value of x is 4 so this is the uh, final answer of this question and now uh, we verify this uh, value of x is this value of x satisfies our given question statement or not so here first we copy down the uh, question statement so our given question statement is 5 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x equals to 544 so now we replace the value of x here and you get 5 to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 4 equals to 544 and you know that 5 to the power of 4 equals to 625 and 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 equals to 544 so 625 minus 81 equals to 544 equals to 544 so this shows that the value of x satisfied the given question statement so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos